Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? ready? Welcome to the Upside Down Smiley Show where we talk about real life but we don't take life too seriously. My name is Shireen and we have my niece Hope here. Hi! We were talking about how to introduce Hope before this <laughs> and with Indian culture, and I feel like immigrants in general, we call like the next generation no matter what the relationship is, like niece or nephew. Yeah. But like I think with Americans they're like twice removed or... Something. So far away but you know we're, no, we're, but close, we're like close. Yeah, yeah we're like, close like I that. feel like you are my niece. Yeah. Because like your your mom is my first cousin. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so today we're going to talk about second generation Americans. So I'm a first generation American. My parents came here in the 70s and your grandparents, who Correct. are my parents' siblings, yep. um, came here in the 70s as well and then your mom was born here mm -hmm. and you were born here. So yep. kind of like that experience, what is it like being a second generation American? It's not something I think about yes. all the time, right? right? It's just like, you know, I am who I am. I think about it when I compare my cousins, right? My yeah. cousins who are first generation, then there's just a really big difference in our upbringing, like extracurriculars in high school, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Do you feel like you identify as being Indian? Or is that not even like a part of your... So it is, especially when... So when I go to work, I work in like a Mexican restaurant and mm -hmm. speak Spanish. And so the first question is like, where are you from that yeah. you can speak Spanish? Yeah. And... You're like brown, but like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. They know I'm not Cuban. They know yeah. I'm not... Right? So then I'm like, if I say Chicago, it doesn't explain a single thing for them. Right. But so that's I'm, where you're from. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So then I'm like, oh, well, I'm Indian. They're like, oh, yeah, I get it. Yeah. Um, But like... When you, especially going to school uh -huh. and you introduce yourself, everyone's kind of, a, not everyone's American, but you're like, well, my right. family's Indian. Yeah. Like, and I mean, I feel like I consider myself American. Yeah, absolutely. But I think maybe because I was like, my parents were came to America, mm -hmm. to America, I feel maybe a little bit stronger connection totally. to like the Indian yeah. roots. Because so I, I feel like I identify as Indian American. Yeah. Do you yeah. feel the same way or do you feel like you more identify just as an American? For the most part, I identify Indian American. Especially yeah. like when you think about, okay, I'm going to go make dinner right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not putting butter in my rice, right? I'm putting like all these different things that show like, okay, I'm Indian. Yeah. Um, but then when you go meet people who are in school from Bangalore. You're like, uh -huh. like you're Indian and I'm Indian right. American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could yeah. tell like the difference. Being a first generation American, that story could be different for different people. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. like my parents didn't speak Malayalam very much at home. Yeah. And I feel yeah. like, yeah, that's same. the same with you guys. Yeah, the same. Um, and, but like some people, like they're fluent in Malayalam. Yeah, like, yeah. Even though they were born here. Or like they had grandparents at the house. Exactly, so they would speak, exactly. They would speak the language. Yeah, and that's the thing. So. I, for me, like I don't speak Malayalam, but I can understand really well. Mm -hmm. And so, probably better than me. And, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> but it's just like so. All I grew up with all four of my grandparents living in America. Yeah. And they all worked here for and went to school here. Yeah. For fifty, it's been fifty years. Right. So their English is really good. Their English is perfect. Like, yeah. Obviously, they're teaching me English. Yeah. Right? yeah More yeah. than they're teaching me Malayalam. Right. So in that way, it's. People who speak Malayalam fluently are like, well, you're so American. Yeah. I'm like, I mean, thank like, am I supposed to be thank you? Am I supposed to be offended? Right, like, right, right, right. I understand I'm different than you, and I grew up differently than but, you. Like, but like you feel like you're Indian. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I I feel the same way. And I think it has a lot to do with like the fact that we're Christian mm -hmm. too. Oh. Because yeah. people are like, Oh, you're basically white. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not Hindu or Muslim. And I'm like, no, it's just there's different kinds it's, of no, Indian. No, I I mean I went to school and we at our school there's a ton of people from new jersey mm -hmm. so all these indian new jersey people are like oh well i'm hindi i'm from central jersey i'm like oh i'm actually christian like oh so you're basically white I'm yeah like, just because i don't speak hindi and i'm not hindi yeah. doesn't mean i'm not indian i was born and brought up in chicago mm -hmm. but my grandfather knows more about the city than i do mm -hmm. um he will know more for a long yeah. long time um but he because being immigrants you lived in one spot and then you moved to another and then you move to another. So you just keep had this continual learning about yeah. the city mm -hmm. um, and about different areas. Whereas for me, I have lived, lived in the same, same house. In yeah. the same house that my mom grew up in. We went to the same middle school, same high yeah, school, yeah, everything yeah. like that. Um, but he's had this just crazy diverse experience in yeah. this one city. Yeah. And just he, he brings that into everything. Same with my grandma, right? When she first came, she was very young. Mm -hmm. it, within a year of being here, she had her first kid. Yeah. And it's just something that, like, that's not something that I'm going to have in my life. Yeah, and yeah. It's, it's something that, you know, they know so much more about. Right. They've had just, yeah. like, so many more different kinds of experiences. Oh, and yeah. And just, like, having, a, like, a much easier life. So especially when you talk about, like, 
well, people who are first generation, like mm -hmm. my age, their parents are going through that now. Yeah. And so the whole process of like learning English and mm -hmm. doing all those things, that's not something I've ever really struggled with or dealt with with my grandparents. Yeah. Just because before I was born, they were already here for, right. for 30 years. And right. They paved that way for us. Yeah. And that, that makes me think about like how I didn't have grandparents. Yeah. So you've had like a really different experience. Totally. And I always like wanted to have that like closer connection with my grandparents. Yeah. But they were in India. Yeah. And See, yeah, it's the opposite for me because I've grown up with all four of mine, which mm -hmm. is, co it's not common. It's like a for super blessed. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I'm, like, I'm 20 years old mm -hmm. and all four of my grandparents are still alive. That's something that no yeah. matter any walk of life, that's something that I get to like brag right. about. Right, and I right? feel like that's very uncommon. Like that's totally, not common. Totally, totally. Yeah. And then even to add to that, so my parents met at Peterson Park in the 80s, right? Yeah. And I've got experiences of my grandfather taking me for walks at Peterson Park. Like, mm -hmm. well, like how often does that happen? Yeah. Where your grandfather, like I vividly remember one time my grandpa being like, your parents probably had their first kiss by that basketball court. Oh my gosh, court. that's and I was so like, funny. What? But, <laughs> I, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. one? Like, John Uncle or your No, no, no. My dad's, that, my dad's parents. Just that's like, funny. we would, they would drop us off to get taken care of. Like, that's, yeah. still, that's still common. I got taken care of by my grandparents. You yeah. Know, they lived in different areas. Yeah. Um, but then that same concept, like, you're going to go home and everyone's going to be, you're going to get Indian food when you get home. Right. Like, like, all those things still stay constant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you feel like your life has is different from your parents? I... Was your dad born in India? Yeah, my dad was born there and then okay. came here when he was seven. Okay, so but pretty much like American. Yeah, Yeah, and yeah. that's the thing. So he was going to English medium school there. Mm -hmm. So he knows how to speak Malayalam fluently. Yeah. But he never learned to read or write. Yeah. So when it came to like teaching us Malayalam, mm -hmm. it didn't really, it didn't happen. Yeah. Um, but my mom was born and raised in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Birth certificate, Chicago, Illinois. Yeah. <laughs> um, so like for me, the difference is with my parents, they weren't they didn't have as many opportunities as I have had to just go and explore. Yeah. Right? That like my mom's parents told her you're like you're staying in Illinois. Yeah. Right? So she went to NIU and I mean she was with my dad and it was a great time. It was, right. like, it was a great time. Yeah. Um but it was it's not the same as like I'm a time zone away. Mm -hmm. Which like it's not like for our families and stuff. It's it's very far. You guys have like gone done sports. Yeah, and, like, yeah. I'm, extracurricular. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I remember being told like, no, that shit costs money. Like yeah. you only do shit that's free. Like, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like that's the thing. So my grandpa was my, like John, John, my push her up, John. Yeah. He was a sportsman yeah. through and through since <laughs> like since kid and days. Yeah. So my mom was that tomboy when she was growing up, but she would just, you know, play the park, right? She, they yeah. My, my dad and her met playing basketball at Peterson Park. Right. But, but like they, they weren't going to like, like they I weren't going to called. tournaments. Like, yeah. They weren't all that club. Yeah. Really exactly. Mm -hmm. right. Like I grew up playing basketball, softball, volleyball, soccer. Mm -hmm. And I played softball to the point of traveling out of state to go yeah. play and those are things that my i couldn't have done without my parents my parents mm -hmm. supported me through that all financially but also we were driving to games in indiana yeah like bringing you and stuff five o'clock in the morning right no my yeah. parents would like miss games all the time yeah, when yeah, i played yeah. like free volleyball in, yeah, in no, junior no, no, high no, yeah because yeah. like they had other things to do totally totally even now my like my younger brother he plays club baseball and my dad's at every game yeah and he's like it's with, just like a different like sense of priorities totally. and i think also like having like the income you know what i mean yeah yeah but just like, like being able to like having that like before club sports and like college recruiting for sports that's not something that my grandparents were ever thinking about. yeah it was never on their mind they're yeah. thinking about like school and yeah. like i got and my life. kids and just yeah yeah exactly no i gotta pay my mortgage no yeah those kind of things and it's just it's a privilege that I don't take for granted. That's for, for sure. sure. Um, but yeah, besides, I mean, how many Indian girls are out there playing softball? I think one time <laughs> we, so we were in Denver for uh -huh. a, for a huge term, week long tournament, uh -huh. and we always said like, ah, I've got the best Indian stats at every tournament, right? <laughs> but then there was one time like someone in a sari there watching their granddaughter playing. We were like, what? What's going on? That's like awesome. this is crazy. But like that's how like far and few between that that happens. Yeah, for sure. I feel like when I was playing sports, there were like barely any Indian Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I feel yeah. like that in like a lot of like non-traditional, like totally. when I'm like working in, at events and stuff like that, mm -hmm. there's barely ever any like South Asians working. I'm totally. like the token Indian person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, which is just interesting. I think it's just going to change as like, you know, the next generation. Yeah, yeah. Like 
the next generation will be encouraged to like play sports professionally. Yeah. It's just this concept of like there isn't that when you talk about representation and yeah. seeing people that look like you do things. Right. That's not common. Right. And like slowly but surely like in the media and whatnot like totally. it's going to continue to happen. How do you feel like your life is different from like your American peers? Just my, my relationships with people. Mm. The same way we talk about how like a lot of Americans don't know their grandparents' siblings. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Right. I can kind of li I can list them all off, tell them yeah. who their kids are and their kids are. Right. You know, like yeah. all of your parents' first cousins. Exactly. And they're like close aunt relationships. Exactly. Like I can say that I probably hugged them in the last year or two. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And I think for me, I don't define my life by the relationships I have, mm -hmm. but that kind of dictates of like, oh, I'm gonna go to dinner with this person. I'm gonna go yeah. do this with this person. Yeah. And in that way. Like that's how I live my life, living with my family. Mm -hmm. um, and so with like American, with the Americans who don't have that root that is only two generations away, mm -hmm. that's not something that really exists. Yeah, I feel like you have like so many connections. And then yeah. your parents and your grandparents could probably connect you to anywhere. Like oh when I went to gosh, like yeah. when I went to Bangalore, my mom was like, "Oh, hit up this person." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When, you, when I went to Goa, she's like, "I have a friend there." Yes, went to their house, yeah. and like that's what's dope about like having these like strong ties. Mm -hmm. Is like I'm, I always people always are like, "Why are Indian weddings so big?" I'm like, yeah. <laughs> because they keep in contact with everyone they've yes. ever known. Yes, and like it's. It's like gets overwhelming, but it's yeah. kind of beautiful because like I've moved, I moved to Dallas, I moved to Vegas, and I had friends instantly. Yeah. Because like Indian people just roll, no. roll deep. That, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 No, that's true. Dope. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Of course. Thank and you. yeah, we do this every single week. Bye. Bye.